Shakti Kumar. Our project is IoT-based smart irrigation system using Raspberry Pi. And the main abstract of our project is as agriculture uh, is, a, is being a, in, an important sector of our Indian economy. There is a uh, there is a huge hindrance huge hindrance in the field of agriculture because of uh, because of uh, because of a uh, huge population. So to overcome this problem, uh, we have uh, we have included the field of IoT into the field of agriculture. So um, as we all know, IoT is a is an important field uh, in the is an important field. Uh, so in our project, uh, we have uh, we have done uh, smart irrigation. Uh, so in this project, uh, we have included a Raspberry Pi. So it is a uh, it is a it is a it is a micro it is a it is simply a microcomputer and uh, uh, we can uh, we can we can do uh, many projects through our pro programs uh, through including program we have done our project in the in python language and we have used soil moisture sensor in this so soil moisture sensor is used to sense the uh, water content or uh, or volumetric content of water so if uh, if there is more water content in the soil uh, the the the, sen the sensor the sensor will detect the moisture of the soil and it will and it will produce uh, and it will give it to the raspberry pi as the raspberry pi is in the um, is in the control of python program it will send the uh, notification to the relay circuit so a relay is simply a switch circuit which is used to energize the coil. So by energizing the coil, we can we can switch on or switch off the circuit. So after uh, after making this uh, after making this uh, notification uh, after making this notification to send to the relay circuit, uh, we can have the output uh, as we required. So uh, uh, we special the special the specialization of our project is we can have the output in different items. So uh, by putting the uh, required command in the command prompt uh, in Linux window, we can uh, we can see the output of the program in command window, and also we can have uh, by entering the required IP address in the uh, in the required web page, we can we can also see the output in uh, in web page also, and. Uh, by putting this uh, program into a mobile phone also, uh, by entering the uh, required number, phone number uh, to, the, to, the, to the program, we can also see the output in messages also. And uh, so this is the main theme of our, uh, of our IoT project. So uh, we can have alert systems also. Um, by using the motor, uh, when the motor is on, uh, by using buzzer, we can have alert. We can alert the workers uh, in this uh, in this area. So we can alert the workers to to protect their security.